Hi everybody, welcome to part four. Right, I'm just working on the shadows underneath the shirt, the dress top. Let's just put some shadow in there. And maybe a little bit of shadow there. Maybe just a little bit because I'm going to follow this, this light. See? There we go. The light's coming from left to right, you see? Just get a little bit of red. Little touch up on the nose, see? That's it. Let's get some darker red. Bring the opacity up. Maybe a little bit with a smudging tool. That's it. See? Oh, I love this smudging tool. It's like smudging without getting your fingers dirty, isn't it? That's a bit better. Just smudge this. Smudge the other one in the corner. That's it. Lovely. Right. So I've done the skin. So I started off with a base layer and I put the highlights on. And now I can move on to the, let's do the hair next, shall we? So I'll add another layer. Let's pick my colour. Let's go to inking. And let's start on the hair, eh? Lovely lemony yellow. Did a few trial and error colour variations on the hair, the dress and everything. Tried a green dress. It looked nice but I like the, the strongness of the blue. Okay, let's get these yellow locks in. I love the way you don't have to turn the paper, the iPad, paper, iPad, you just turn the screen. So it's always, you always find the best angle to shade, to sketch, even if it's upside down. What are they crowing on about now? Right, so I've done all the hair. So now, hopefully, we can start 
to do something with this hair. Okay, There's a few little spots that I can see just standing out when I zoom in, see? Tidy up a little of the bleed overs. Right now, if I create a, a new layer and turn it into a clipping mask, it only works on what I've done below. So let's get a nice orange. Let's get my airbrush. That's it, soft airbrush. Let's just have some fun, shall we? So let's just maybe just darken little bits. Maybe just there, see? Just enough. Some of this golden hair in, see? That's it. Right now, when I come to white, I can do my highlights. See? Oops, not so strong, maybe. Maybe just. Oops, still a bit strong. Let's reduce the opacity, increase the size. That's better. That's better. The middle of. Straight over the hair, some lighter bits. Just get some of that, reduce it a little bit. Maybe get a few little highlights. Just on the edges like that, see? Maybe. Where the light's just catching it. That's it. There we go, that's better. Maybe a little one, thin one down. Let's do something on this side because that's it. One underneath. There we go. That's the hair to see. Now what I could do, if I go back to yellow, if I go back to inking, there's a thylacine brush. It's a bit stripy. What it does, just I'm on yellow. Make the opacity. Let's just. bit stronger there you go you see so I get kill all the strands see there we go Let's go to me orange Looks a bit like wood. That'll do. Right, so I've done the hair now. So I want to do the 
the uh, headscarf. So what I'll do is I'll add another layer, get the colour color that I want, change the brush to my inking brush, my studio pen, my favourite one, so I'll stick with it. And let's just get some this lovely pinky violet. Oops. So actually act actually if I, no, I'll stick it I'll stick it uh, the way I do it. I was gonna make the opacity make it light as I colour it in and then next time I colour it in it but you have to take your pen off and then you might get marks where you don't want them. So I'm just going to full colour head scarf in. Then I can work on the lights and darks on the clipping mask, it's easier. I cannot express how satisfying this feels when you colour in like this. It's just wonderful. It really is. Right, so that's the headscarf all coloured in. Got my base coat on. Let's give it another layer let's do a clipping mask and let's just darken it a wee bit okay so I've got a wee bit of darkness there and A wee bit there. Uh, maybe a little bit there. A little bit there. A little bit on there. Let's just change the opacity. Here we go. Oh, that's lovely. I used the airbrush last time, but I used it on the ink pen and it's not bad. Because when I go back to my little smudgy brush, I can just blend it all in. It's the best thing since sliced bread. Smudgy brushes. If you've, if you've ever used Procreate, you'll know what I mean. These smudgy brushes are just awesome. They really are. Right, let's now go to a highlight. So, pick a lighter colour. I might do the airbrushing for the highlights. Okay. There we go. A little, few little bands there. Maybe coming down there. Go to white. Let's 
it. Just highlight it just enough. Beautiful. Right, so that's the headband done. Right, well, whoops. We'll call that a day for the moment. And I think that's enough of part three, because in part four, I'll probably do the stockings and the basket and the earrings and the eyes. Okay. Actually, while I'm on, I could probably get away with doing some of the eyes, do you think? Should we try that? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the... The layer for the eyes. Let's take the background off. Oh, she looks proper demonic so i've gone to the layer for the scarf so i just want to add some teeth there we go it's just a little bit so i'm using the scarf layer Same for this eye. So she's not so demonic looking. Okay. Just raise it's under the teeth. That's it. I could probably get away with a bit of a tongue. Let's a little bit more on the red side. That's it. Might want to just darken this underneath. It looks like she's got some kind of lighting going on in her inside her mouth and I don't want that. Okay, so I'm just adding a bit of darkness there. That's brilliant. 